Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. And today we will finally continue with the Trick Lock mini series. And today it's time for the Trick Lock 2017. The 2015 we solved already some weeks ago, the 2016 we solved already, and these two are amazing. And if you like these two Trick Locks, you will love today's episode because this Trick Lock here is even better than the two before. I was, I had a really hard time here to find a solution and the solution is just amazing. There's only the 2018 left and this one will be left for episode number four, which will be released in a few weeks. And as usual, let me tell you something about the designer. If you haven't seen the other two episodes, the design is made by Louis Kuhlen from the Netherlands. Also, he manufactured these puzzles and you can get these puzzles if you're interested by contacting him via the email address I post here in the video description. As usual, if you like this episode, if you like this channel, just don't forget to subscribe. And after the spoiler break, I'm gonna show you my approach, how to solve the Trick Lock 2017 by Louis Kuhlen. can try the next one and this really feels like a second Christmas <laughs> if you know what I mean so let's see the 2017 trick lock and this one also same as the 2016 comes with a key it seems yes this was pretty easy to remove let's have a closer look so there is something back here, which I still do not understand the sense. And also a keyhole here in the front. A key with a small hole here, which fits this pin inside here to center it. And a small gap up here. So let's first try what probably everyone will do. I can rotate the pin, add a key until over here and other way around until here but then it's blocked no. so let's see what's this thing up there actually it looks to me like this piece here in the middle can somehow move because you can see here between the the shackle and the top pieces up here there is some kind of a small gap or something and also here to both sides so it seems that this might somehow move this piece just an idea as usual I'm afraid to break these little things you can, I mean look at this little key here it's rather not, not successful what I tried here maybe I can twist it a bit ah and before I forgot uh, the shackle of course is also completely fixed as you can see here so it is definitely blocked and there's another plate down here which is blocking the keyhole and if you look inside here behind this plate you can see that there is also same as for the upper one like a small positioning pin or something that goes here inside of the key to rotate it i can see it if i look inside here so it's behind here same as this one up here oh this was flexing a little bit so maybe i can flex it a little bit here and pull it out. So I thought maybe these two things here are buttons or something to push in, but they are completely fixed. Just try to imagine what, what's behind here, what these are made for, because obviously they cannot be pushed or moved, but they must have some function, maybe to fix something inside. So this is definitely flexing inside here, yeah, definitely. But it doesn't really change something. So, so far zero progress except of taking out the key. 
and I will now focus on this one here. Since this is flexing down here, I now will now focus here on this specific area because I think this must have something to do with the solution. Oh, did I break it? No, but there was a uh, a horrible noise coming from the inside. Personally, this seems to be the most difficult one from the ones I tried so far. I make zero progress here after about 10 minutes. There must be a trick down here. I'm very much convinced there must be a trick down here. Maybe just using the key other way around. Oh, oh, it's moving, it's moving. I have no idea what I did, but it's moving. It went up from down here to here. Now the lower one is free and the upper one is blocked. Does this really help? Make some weird, strange, non-healthy noise. <laughs> so, repeat the process. But now, let's see. Oh yes, another step. This time I pushed in up here. Now both keyholes are free again. Maybe it still has something to do with those pieces here. But they are completely fixed. You see this? It won't to get it won't to get out, but <laughs> it held in place by some feature over here. This one side is loose, so it's blocked from over here. Ah, let's see, maybe I can push this thing a little bit to the side. No. I'm so close before opening it, but I, th I think it's stuck here at these two things, pins or whatever this is. I can only imagine it's somehow the shackle goes somehow around these pins and is stuck here, but I have no idea what to do. Ah, you see this? If I pull here, you can see the pin is, you can see the pin moving. Same over here. Ah, you know what? Maybe I need to move it to a certain position and get, yes, yes. Ah, this was the right idea. If I move it to a certain position here, I'm able to push it in, I think. It was just moving a bit. Just need to find the right point again. I think this is it. Yes, I can push it in. Oh! Oh! You see this? The label. It's a single part and it was the locking mechanism. I thought it was part of the body. And now, here we go, yes. Oh man, this, ah, woo. <laughs> okay, I just calmed down again. You, you, I mean, you saw how amazed I was here on this, of this puzzle. So, um, this is incredible. You, you can see the inside. And what, what, how did it actually work? Let's see. So I just took a moment to understand how it worked and I understood now how this thing works and I will explain you now the details. So we have the shackle piece and the first locking mechanism is this little thing here on the shackle. You can see there is a small um, like a small edge here or like a small chamfer on it. And if you look inside of the body, you have over here two small pieces, two small pins or ribs. And if I put this piece in, this little chamfer will jump over one rib and over the other, but in the other way, you can see that there is no chamfer here, so it will be blocked if I put it um, upwards. However, if I push it down, I will um, unlock it, and I need to do this two times, okay? You will see later when I do the solution. But then, on the top, there is this brilliant locking mechanism, which is this piece here, which, which is inside here. I will just demonstrate it to you. And then there is this very, very, very brilliant 2017 label, which is at the same time the locking mechanism. And I was actually thinking this is part of the body. And this is 
holding the shackle in place. And if I move it now two steps down, it's locked. So the puzzle comes in this condition and now I will show you and explain you how to solve it, okay? First you take down the key. And don't care here about this little gap up here. This is only to fool you. This has no nothing to do with the solution. First brilliant thing is the one, and this was where I was struggling a lot. You really need to push this one down, but, but the detail is that you need to understand if you push it down like so or like so, you could actually lift the shackle. But the problem is if you push it down too much, with too much force, you create, create so much friction between the key and this little plate down here that you can't pull it up. So you block yourself. So you need to find the right amount and pull it up. Okay, very easy, but very difficult if you don't know. The second one is up here. You push it again in here again and with the right amount of force and you can push it a second step up. And then you will, you need to um, push in these two and the key for me to understand that it worked was when I pulled these up that I saw that they are interlocking and then I noticed I will slightly push them down until they re reach a certain point and then I can push them in and then I can take out the label and then I can finally take out the shackle. Amazing! I, I have to admit this one is even more brilliant than the two before. This is so far my favorite. If you think the same, just let me know in the comments, of course. Let me know what you think about this puzzle. Let me know what you think about this video. Subscribe if you haven't. And you can also hit this little bell here on the right side below the video if you would like to stay informed about future videos and get a notification from YouTube. And you can also, of course, follow my Facebook and Instagram channel. We're gonna see you next time in the last episode of the Trick Lock mini series with the Trick Locks 2018, which is this one here. And I can't wait for it, but I, I think I have to. Until next time, keep on puzzling.